Um, no, it's obviously it's more of a shock for them. Uh, they got to move cities and jump on a plane. But, um, you know, we really didn't think they would trade them. So very excited they did. So when they said to you, okay, we'll do this, what were your emotions? What are the ten things that could go wrong? <laughs> I mean, we've been there a couple of times, and, uh, and, and, and 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 things haven't still happened. So I uh, until I got the email about I don't know, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago, saying it was done. Uh, I, you know, I was waiting for something to go wrong. I know I, I should. It's a loaded question, but were you concerned about getting another phone call from the commissioner's office? Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was loaded. But yes. it, it, you have a deadline coming up, a, a few hours to, to cut the roster to 15. Has that yes. decision been made yet or not yet? Um, yeah, we've we've informed a few players, but not all. Okay. So I haven't, haven't told everyone yet. How much of a benefit was it in this trade that you created at least, I think, one to two million in cap room for this About year? two million of cap room. Uh, yeah, that's the big benefit, I think. Uh, obviously, <laughs> we used cap room to get uh, you know, at least two of the – First round picks uh, in the uh, two of the picks in the deal, the Charlotte second and the Dallas first, both were using cap room. So, cap room is very valuable. We're going to have, if, I think, as much as anyone in the league, uh, maybe one or two teams might have more than us, but that'll give us a lot of flexibility to upgrade the team this year going forward or pick up you know draft picks for future deals. Has that become more of a commodity in the league, the ca- having that cap space in the season? I think it always has been. I think it might. Be. Might slightly, I think it's worth more, but there's also a few teams that have it, like Cleveland and a few others. So, so I think it probably nets out. It's about as useful as in the last. Okay. Because it goes without saying, but just talk about just having a guy with so much postseason experience. Yeah, that, that's huge. Obviously, we went into the year with the idea of building for the future, and often that means less experienced guys without playoffs and. You know, obviously, you know, our goal, and we haven't been shy about it, was to add a player like James. But we didn't know when that would happen. And so we were preparing for the day. And we need to keep our – We you know, obviously we're going to be much better this year and we've upped our playoff odds this year. But, you know, our goal isn't stop there. We're looking to be a championship contender. And that's going to require uh, focusing on the future at least a little bit longer to add, uh, you know, or develop that second piece to, to go with James. And history league is, you know, for sure you need one, uh, and we got that, and uh, and and now you probably need at least one more as well. Does the way he played in the finals concern you? Because it seemed like a moment ago all things were at times. Yeah, no, it doesn't concern me. I mean, LeBron had some very really bad playoff series, but I'd take him. So. Um, you know, basketball is a game. You know, sometimes shots fall, sometimes they don't. You can have periods of good and bad play, and and really the best way to judge a player is, you know, his overall uh, play in the playoffs, which has been stellar. His overall play, overall since really since Arizona State, and that's been stellar, and and that's that's the best way. And and frankly, we do study how guys play uh, in sort of high leverage situations, which is when the game. You know, can shift in the balance, and he's played very well in those situations in the past. You expect an adjustment in period, uh, changing from a sixth man to a starter? I really don't. Yeah, I, I think he's shown again. He's he's had plenty of minutes, and we studied him. Believe me, uh, with different mixes and against hard and easy backup starters, everything to know that he can play against starters. I mean, I don't I don't see it as an issue at all. Do you have any expectation about when he'll be incorporated in straight hard? Time. I, mean, Wednesday or I mean, that's Friday. up to Coach McCall. I would guess he's in the starting lineup Wednesday, though. Yeah. Yeah. What about the other unless guy? We, unless we have a better guy <laughs> to throw out there. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't well, have I mean, one. just in terms of, like, incorporating, you know, like, Yeah, you know, I think with someone that good, yeah. you just put him out. Yeah. What about the other guy's experience coming from, uh, you know, playing with the Thunder and playoff and that, hoping that that maybe rubs off a little bit, or does that? Um, the cold I don't understand. Bizarre, their oh, experience. yeah. yeah. I mean, they were, uh, they were. Uh, Cook probably played the most in key moments for them, uh, and played pretty well. Yeah, but uh, I don't think that was a big factor. No, I, we're excited to both Cook and Aldridge um, uh, are guys who can help us potentially.